Voyager 1 just sent out a terrifying message from space. Voyager 1, the first human-made spacecraft to leave our solar system, has just sent out a chilling message from the depths of space. What could it mean? Is it a warning of some kind? Is it a sign of something sinister lurking in the darkness? Whatever the message is, one thing is certain. It has sent a wave of terror through the universe. Want to know more? Let's find out. The Voyager 1 probe, which NASA sent into interstellar space, is beginning to make sense once more. The 45-year-old Voyager 1 spacecraft is now again beaming back precise telemetry data on its state outside our solar system. This comes after the spacecraft spent several months providing flight controllers on Earth with trash data regarding its health. NASA was aware that the issue lay somewhere in the spacecraft's attitude, articulation, and control system. The Voyager 1 probe travels through interstellar space and transmits some strange data back to Earth. These data have NASA experts scratching their heads. According to statements made by officials from the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory this week, the readouts of the orientations of the space probe from the 1970s appear to be randomly produced or don't represent any feasible situations in which the spacecraft may be located. The data that are causing problems are from an onboard piece of equipment known as an Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS for short. This piece of hardware measures, reports, and alters the positions of the spacecraft while it is in space. The system always maintains an antenna aimed at Earth, which enables it to transmit data back to its home base. The newly odd circumstance casts doubt on the course that the long-duration mission will take going forward. The United States Space Agency has stated that despite the fact that the data being transmitted by Voyager 1's scientific equipment does not make any sense, there is every indication that the controls are still operational on the spacecraft. It appears to be operating normally in every other respect. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this level of the Voyager mission, said Suzanne Dot, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, in a statement made by NASA on Wednesday. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. At this point in the Voyager mission, a mystery of this nature is somewhat to be expected. Both Voyager 1 and 2 are approximately 45 years old, which is a significant amount of time beyond what was originally anticipated to be their lifespan. She said that because interstellar space is a high-radiation environment in which no spacecraft has ever gone before, it is almost certain that unexpected occurrences will take place. The distance between Voyager 1 and Earth is 14.5 billion kilometers. This indicates that the speed of flight is approximately 20 hours and 33 minutes per mile. In other words, the amount of time that passes between the message is delivered to Voyager when a response is delivered is around two days. Dodd stated that there are several significant obstacles for the engineering team to overcome, but if there is a method to address this problem with the telemetry, I have faith that our team will discover it, you may say. Aside from the delay, Dot noted that it is unlikely that the mission crew will not uncover the source of the anomaly and would instead have to adjust to it. If they do manage to address the problem, it might be resolved by remote software adjustments or by utilizing one of the craft's redundant hardware systems. The primary thrusters aboard Voyager 1 began to degrade in 2017, prompting engineers to switch to another set originally utilized 37 years earlier during the probe's planetary context. Since 1977, the twin spacecraft known as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have been conducting research throughout the solar system. Their initial mission was to investigate the planets Jupiter and Saturn, as well as the moons and rings of Saturn. They were only constructed to endure for five years because the mission only included two planets. Engineers encouraged their early results, quickly expanded the mission's scope to include the explorations of two other big planets, Uranus and Neptune. Both of these spacecraft have studied a combined total of four planets, 48 moons, and a variety of planetary magnetic fields and ring systems. The spacecraft produces around 4 watts less power per year, which reduces the number of systems that may be activated by the spaceship. In order to save some electricity, the crew has shut down some of the equipment. To this point, none of the scientific instruments have had their electricity cut off. According to NASA, the objective is to continue operating the Voyagers beyond the year 2025. Let us know what you think of Voyager 1 in comment section below. That's all for the video today. 
and we'll be right back with more. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.